Previously on Battletech. Our only hope lies with cooperation. I am a businessman, not a warrior. When this mission ends and the invaders are gone, what happens to us? You'll be free to return to the Draconis Combine, along with your ship. I am Nikolai Malthus of Clan Jade Falcon, the conqueror of Somerset, Wotan, and Bogus. So you're the monster who destroyed my home world. Oh, I'm hitting you with everything I've got. of planets colonized by humankind once it was united under the star League. but for the last 300 years it has been consumed by savage wars until a new enemy appeared mysterious invaders known as the clans powerful and ruthless they struck like lightning attacking every sector at once but they made one big mistake they attacked my home planet now in the spirit of the Star League, ancient enemies have reunited. And we're gonna take back our galaxy. We are gathered today to honor a valiant warrior, Lieutenant Ciro Ramirez. He was a hero who fought valiantly to protect the citizenry of Romulus, a comrade who exemplified the standards to which all of us in the first Somerset Strikers aspire. Isn't he laying it on a bit thick? Despite his faults, Ciro selflessly battled to keep the inner sphere free from the Jade Falcon Clan's invasion force. He deserved the title. Battle Mech Warrior. Goodbye, Zero. Hard to believe, but I'm really gonna miss you. <laughs> What's going on in here? You better be awfully sick, Sturat, or else. See, little bondsman, there is nothing to be gained by fleeing. <laughs> and even less by resisting. The strikers have not forgotten me. They will come, and they will free me. That is precisely what I was hoping to hear. All right, guys, it's high time we resumed our primary mission of gathering information. Now, as you can see here, the clans are wreaking havoc across the entire inner sphere. They're taking planets all over the Federated Commonwealth and Draconis Combine. Now, their mechs are faster, they're more powerful, can take twice the punishment, and never overheat. Gee, thanks for the current events lesson, Major. What can we do? Well, if we learn the secrets behind their technology, we just might even the odds. Has been anything this advanced since the Star League? Come on, Kerensky and his troops left the Inner Sphere 300 years ago. Hmm. Perhaps they met up with the clans. Now the last reported clan strike was right here at Twycross. Now, apparently, they're trying to use one of our bases as a supply post. If we pay them a surprise visit, we might just be able to appropriate some of their exotic hardware. By appropriate, 
Do you mean steal? Let's call it a permanent loan. Like taking a baseball bat away from a bully. <laughs> now the strike team will consist of Val and me. Hawking Kylie, you'll keep the back door open, covering our retreat. While Rachel remains on board the Y Don to coordinate the operation. With only one mech to coordinate? Oh, again, I have to stand outside, watch, and wait. At least you'll be safe. Oh. Now entering orbit. I'm breathing a heavy windstorm centered directly over our landing site. I know, but it's our best bet for touching down undetected. Kylie, we'll need you to scout ahead. Your Banshee is more maneuverable than the dropship. Come on, baby, don't fight me now. The wind's too fierce, Major. You better not try to... Kylie. Kylie, do you copy? Something's wrong, Major. Stations, people. We're going in after her. Follow her trajectory. Fasten your seatbelts, people. We're in for a bumpy ride. <laughs> Boost the power to those stabilizers. Landing thrusters on full. Zugu, now! Adam, I'm picking up an SOS. It's pretty weak. to fly. What are you talking about? I'm fi- oh. This medipack should help you rest. Uh. I could have used these in a couple of scraps on dust ball. This is medication, not some toy. It should be used responsibly. Major, I must protest the risks you are taking with this ship. Hey, you were aware of the danger when you agreed to be part of this mission. What's the matter, Frank? Rough landings make you space sick. I am still responsible for the safety of the Kwaidan and its crew, and I will protect them in any way I deem necessary. What do you think you're doing? You are staying put on the dropship. If anything happens to me, someone's got to carry on the real mission to free Somerset. I'll be more useful figuring out their technology if it's right in front of me. I can't afford to lose you, Rachel. You're far too valuable. <sighs> then how about giving me a chance to be valuable, Adam? I am part of the team. She's got you there, Major. last of the Tri-Cross Militia. All units, switch to enhanced imaging. Together we will crush the final embers of resistance on this world. How are we supposed to get past that? Offhand, I'd say with extreme caution. Once again, I find myself pitted against unworthy adversaries. Sure, this is the safest route. No, but it's the quickest. If I can just plant one of these babies under their legs. No, Val. We can't risk revealing our presence. We'll do a lot more for the Inner Sphere by getting a hold of that clan technology. Inner Sphere cowards would rather flee than perish with honor. Well, congratulations on your latest planetary conquest, Star Colonel Nikolai Melz. I hereby order you to turn Twycross over to Star Captain Kristen Redmond's garrison troops. With all due respect, Galaxy Commander, my premature departure from Romulus resulted in that planet's loss to a small band of rebels. My garrison is fully capable of holding this oversized grain of sand. I merely wish to be certain that this planet is secure before leaving it in lesser hands. Very well. You may remain on Twycross for an additional 48 hours. <laughs> Oh, 
Okay, now this is where the clan mechs to eat signatures cut out. What they do? Sink into the sand? Maybe there's an entry hatch down there. Now, if I remember right, the Twi-Class Militia had an underground base near here. Come on! <gasps> oh! Guys? Rachel, what's wrong? We're in big trouble. Nice work, pal. You realize you could have blown us up along with that ceiling? Desperate situation called for desperate measures, Major. <laughs> Thanks. Can I help you? <clears throat> I did not realize my run of this ship was restricted. were found skulking around this complex. They belong to me now. Their futures are uncertain. But there is surely a place for you among us. I knew bringing you along was a mistake. This isn't a training mission. I said I was sorry. You want it in writing? What have we here? Major Adam Steiner of the first Somerset Strikers? My, my. I believe he recently requested that I take up my quarrel with him personally. Open up these bracelets, pal, and we'll get real personal. This one shows spirit. He will make a fine addition to the labor cast. <laughs> and what does this one have to say? Three, two, one. Now! Come on, guys. We made early parole thanks to a total system crash. Funny what a little corrupted code will do to a complex run by a computer. Grab them before they escape. You're a miracle worker, you know that? Yeah. You still think I'm not cut out for field duty?
must have used enough to knock out an elephant. Take a gander, Major. She look as small as an elephant to you. She'll be all right. Believe it or not. God, we have hit the jackpot. <laughs> Let's move, Strikers. It won't take them long to figure out why we're here. Their objective is crystal clear. And when they come for you, we will be waiting to greet them. These babies ought to come with an instruction manual. There's got to be some way to adjust them. I don't see any controls. Of, huh? Somebody order room, sir? This would be a real good time to fire short-range missiles. Did you see that, Adam? These suits respond to vocal commands. Oh, you think so? The vocal interface must be derived from Star League technology. Can the analysis wait till later? Greetings, Inner Sphere Crash. You are hereby declared, Isola, my property. Stand down, Star Captain. These prisoners are my property. What is your problem, Nikolai? Too proud to forfeit even an ounce of glory? I just love people fighting over me. <laughs> these things having jump jets? We just need the right vocal command to activate them. Jump jet! Thrusters! Up! Up and up! Boosters! Mission accomplished. Oh, we're not home yet, people. Free Earth Wars! You will surrender immediately. Fire short-range missiles. Explosives, huh? Someone had to stop them from following you back to my dropship. Got you there, huh? They hate it when he's right. Comrades ran away after taking what they came here to steal. Oh, apparently your salvation was not part of their little plan. 
Tell me once more about honor, Zero. I mean, what passes for honor in the inner sphere. They're gonna come back, you know. Your friends are long gone. Not them. The descendants of Kerensky. When his army returns, you're gonna pay for invading us. Are you so totally incapable of perceiving the obvious? We are the descendants of Kerensky. <laughs> We actually pulled it off! Hey, you're pretty good in the heat of battle. Would you consider coming into combat with us again? Sure. If you think you can use me. <laughs> and you, Mr. Sakamoto, why didn't you mention you were an aerospace pilot? I am a man of many talents. Yeah, and many secrets, too. Well, we've got room for another aero jock. Are you interested? Nikolai Malthus clouded his judgment with a personal vendetta. How lamentably unplanned. Perhaps. But I will make Adam Steiner pay for this insult. And he will pay dearly. 